You guys remember when Titan said we could take a one inch deep cut on our blown Plano Mad XT? And you can drop the wheels down one inch deep in hardened material. I think I even said it in one of my videos. I did because I started getting these comments that said they would take forever and we couldn't really do that. Well today, I got a piece of 4140. We're gonna go one inch deep in this thing. Just to give you a reference, this is how deep we're gonna go on a surface grinder. Now, when we're going one inch deep, we're gonna have a lot of cutting forces on this part. We don't have a lot of surface contact here, so I actually don't feel comfortable putting this directly on our magnetic base. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw a shunk vise on the table, and we're gonna clamp this in the vise so I know this thing ain't gonna go anywhere. I know, I know, there's one inch deep cuts on a grinder all over YouTube. You're tired of seeing it. I know this is pretty common practice, but I don't care, I'm doing it anyway. But before we get to this insane cut, I need to dress the wheel. And I'm gonna be profiling a 140 degree included angle into the wheel using our rotary dresser with a disc instead of the roll form like I used last time. But don't worry, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the entire process of the disc dresser in our next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because you're not gonna to wanna to miss that video. With that, let's stop talking about it and let's get it set up because I'm ready to see it myself. Now that's intimidating. Normally when you look at it, that wheel's sitting above the part. Let's do it. Look at the swarf already on it. <laughs> it's wild. Half an inch and we'll be at full depth. We'll be at the apex of the wheel. All right, we just passed the apex of the wheel. We're completely at full depth, one inch deep. So let's see how far we can go. So what does it take to take a one inch deep cut on a grinder? Well, the first thing is horsepower. You gotta have a good enough machine to pull it. But two is in your wheel. So a creep free wheel is super porous. So as it's cutting, that swarf is actually getting embedded into the wheel. So if you have a super tight grain structure, that swarf doesn't have anywhere to go. So with a creep feed wheel being so porous, it allows the coolant to wash away the swarf so the wheel doesn't get loaded up. And by loaded up, I mean the swarf getting packed into the wheel, which will cause it to get dull and actually start burning your part. Look at the cover plate, all that, man, that's wild. There it is, nothing. So we don't have a continuous dresser on this machine, so I'm keeping a good eye on my load meter because as this wheel goes through the part, it's gonna start loading up more, which is gonna make it a little bit more dull. So I don't want to pass 100% uh, on my spindle load. You're doing like six months of grinding in like 30 minutes. Yeah, we're eight minutes into it now. Wow. Hey, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's like a blanket, man. It's great. Well, we're not throwing sparks, so we shouldn't be burning. I mean, it's it's looking good, man. That wheel's loaded up, but it's cutting. Here we go. Oh man, sick. Jeez. Man, look at that, Chris. Wow. One inch deep. Jeez. Check that out, look how deep we are. Dude, there was nothing for that tear lit wheel. Look at this right. thing. Woo-wee. So look at that, take a, take a picture of that back there. That's all that swarf being thrown to the back. Check that out, see? Need some steel wool. All right guys, so check this out right here. I got a lot of comments in the last video asking how much the wheel actually breaks down. How long will it last? Well, if you look at this part right here, we took a huge cut. I don't care what anybody says, there's a lot of material that come off this part. But if you look at the top of this material, our small radius that I put on the wheel is actually still there. You're not seeing a big deformation in the contour of the wheel. I was also getting a lot of questions of why we were redressing 
in between cuts in the last video. The question was, doesn't the wheel resharpen itself? The answer is yes and no. So as the wheel cuts, the edge will get built up and it will flake off, revealing a new edge. So it's like it resharpens itself. But when you're taking a cut like this, that wheel is gonna continuously load up. And if you don't have a continuous dresser while it's cutting, it's gonna start getting dull. So that's one reason why we stopped it short to keep this thing from loading up and start burning our material. Plus, I wanted to show you guys just how deep of a cut this is. So I know y'all seen our new guy on the block here, Chris. He might be new here, but he's bringing in a lot of grinding experience. Super excited to have him on the team. Titan said that he wanted to bring somebody in that was still country, but not bad enough to have subtitles like me. So I know with Chris being here, he's gonna be bringing a lot of education on grinding. We're gonna be putting out some crazy videos just like the one you saw today. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And hit that notification bell and stay tuned for more crazy grinding content like we got today. And leave me a comment, let me know what you thought about this video. Thanks for watching, we'll see y'all next time. So make sure you like and subscribe and leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought about this video. Hey! Live! <laughs> Liberty Biberty. <laughs> Let me see y'all <laughs> making a one inch deep cut. Tag me in any video where somebody's doing a one inch deep cut. Liberty Biberty.